Hi guys, I'm Joanna with Custom Quilts and today I'm going to show you how to do this cool windy looking swirl. And it's a really easy fill to do and you can change up the density to really alter how it looks. And uh, this is a great fill. I love to do this in the background of blocks and really great for negative space to add a little bit of texture. So first we're going to uh, make a little loop like this. And then go in and stop and now we're going to come back out and we're going to trace back and echo this line that we just quilted. And we're going to stop before we, we're not going to connect the lines where we started. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to trace into this again and go into this curve. And then I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to echo the little loop that I made before and come back here to start my next one. Okay, so that's one. We've done one. Uh, you can echo around your loops as many times as you want to or as few times. Uh, it's really just whatever you need to do to fill the space. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make kind of a big one and echo it a couple of times. So I'm going to make my loop first. And you can see that I kind of followed or echoed around the edge of this line right here. Okay, so I stopped. Now I'm going to go back up and echo this line. Stop before I get to it. Now I'm going to go back and echo the line I just quilted. Kind of going into that loop, but stopping before I get to, to the lines. And now I'm going to go back around and follow the original loop I made. Okay, and so maybe I don't want to quilt this area. I want to go back over here and fill this in first. So uh, the best way to do that is to follow, follow back around and echo this loop again, and then this will give you your starting point over here. So just kind of think about your travel and where your path is going uh, while you're quilting so that you know how many times to echo something. And really it doesn't matter. It's just whatever you want to do and uh, the path that you want to follow to fill the negative space. So I'm going to loop back around. Go back into that curve. Okay, now whenever I come out, I think I want to go up instead of out over here. So I'm going to kind of follow this line and then I'm going to curve up like this. Okay, so I went into my loop. Now I'm going to come back out and I'm going to echo this line. Stop. Now I'm going to go back and echo the, the, um, the line I just made and then follow it back out again. And now I want to be quilting up and over this way, and so I'm going to echo it back in one more time. So I'm staying pretty close to the lines that I'm quilting, like between, I don't know, an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch right here. Um, but the distance between your lines doesn't really matter. It's just you kind of want to keep them consistent so that your fill has a, a consistent look to it throughout. So I'm going to go back up this way. Okay, now I want to go back in and finish this area, but this is kind of small. So uh, I'm going to follow it back around. Now I don't know that I really have enough space to make another loop, so here's what we're going to do to solve this problem. I'm going to go in here and then I'm just going to echo these lines until I fill this area and I can find my way out so that I can go back up. Okay, now I'm going to go back down and echo again and then back up and then do my swirl. See how nicely that area just filled? Now I could very easily come out here and what I like to do is alternate the direction of my swirls. So I'm going to come around this and I'm going to go this way with my swirl instead of going 
to the left. Uh, that way it kind of gives the look of like wind blowing or uh, smoke curling up, something like that. So it'll give it a really cool look. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then this area I need to fill, so I'm gonna go back in and echo that. Actually, I may have room for a swirl, let's see. Do kind of a small one. Oh yeah, that works out good. Okay, now I'm gonna come back down and I filled this whole area, that looks pretty good. That looks uniform and consistent. And now I'm gonna come back down and uh, my, uh, what am I trying to say? My little smoke swirls, wind swirls, whatever you want to call them, they're going to be going down now. So you can easy alternate the direction of, direction of these and make it look really cool. And if whenever you start, your swirls don't look very consistent, I would recommend just getting a sketchbook and drawing them over and over and over again. And before you know it, uh, you know, after just a few minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes of drawing these, they'll come really naturally and you won't really have to think about it when you're quilting or where you're going to go or how you're going to get out of a certain area. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you just keep doing that until your area is totally filled.